show you how to download a Canon driver for your Mac OS device. So first open up your web browser and go to usa.canon.com. From this main page click on drivers and downloads and then in this box type in the device you want to download a driver for. In my case I'm downloading a, downloading a driver for a 4525 image runner advance. From this page, click on Drivers and Downloads, and then download this UFR Mac.zip file. From here, click on Finder in the bottom left side of your screen. Click Downloads, and now click on this file, Mac.dmg. Now click on Office. Click on this cardboard box, click continue, continue, agree to the terms, install, and now type in the password for your Mac OS device. This is the password that you use to log on to your computer. And now wait for the drivers to install. Now that the drivers are installed, you can close out of this window, move the installer to the trash, exit out of downloads, and then exit out of Canon's website. From here, click on System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and in this menu, click on this plus symbol in the bottom left side of the screen. Now from this menu, you can add your Canon printer to your Mac OS device. I'm going to show you two different ways to connect the two. The first way is the easy way, and the second way is a little bit more complex because it involves using an IP address. So the first way is to simply find the printer you're looking for in this menu. In my case, I'm looking for a Image Runner 4525. Now that I've clicked on it, I can rename it to something a little bit more friendly. I'm going to call it Demo Canon. Now this is going to be the name you, you give your device whenever you're looking for it in other applications. But now that you've named your printer, you can go under Choose a Driver, Select Software, and then type in the device you're downloading the driver for. In my case, a 4525 image runner. And now click OK. Now from here, I can click on Add, and the printer will be ready to work. But now I'm going to show you the other way of adding a printer to your Mac OS device. The second way is to click on IP, and then type in your printer's IP address. If you don't know what your printer IP address is, that's alright. In the top right corner of this video, I have this gray card showing you how to find out your Canon printer's IP address. So once you've figured out your IP address, you're going to type it in here. In my case, my IP address is 192.168.1.67. The protocol I want to use is HP Jet Direct. And now I'm going to rename the printer to Demo Canon again. Under Use, I'm going to ch change the generic post trip printer driver to select software and then again the 4525. I'm going to click OK and now I can add the printer to this Mac OS device. And that's it. Your Canon printer has now been added to your Mac OS device. You can now print images or Word documents using this new printer. If you're looking to set up more complex settings, however, such as printing presets, or you want to set up department IDs, or user authentication, or you want to tell the computer what kind of features your printer has, I have a whole video on that, and you can click on it now in the center of the screen. If you have any questions, or if we didn't cover the information you were looking for, feel free to ask us down in the comments below, or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. Anyways, I'm glad I could help, and 
Thank you for watching.